good afternoon bafundi ninjani eh namhlanje ni bona umisi nkontwane utsisha wenyu we geography and today so besibheke ithopic emnandi kakhulu eh lapho sibheke khona ama anti cyclones and sizobheka ukuthi ama anti cyclones ayini and how do they affect in south africa okokuqalake engizofuna ukuthi sikubheke let us first understand ukuthi what is an anti cyclone and i athile ama characteristics uzokumbula uqala ukuthi sabheka eh ngama pressure cells ahlukahlukene so qala la i anti cyclone it is a high pressure cell Now a high pressure cell and I think ukuthi sonke siyaziye ukuthi eh kuna ma characteristics ahambisana ne high pressure cell so when you are looking at a high pressure cell automatically se siyazi ukuthi there is cold a now this cold a is not just cold however it is also dense that is why under a high pressure cell sithi kune mimoya enjani there is subsiding a subsider it term is seven desire as it should be sinking air however city subsiding air so that you can gain a max subsiding air automatically if there is subsiding air we know uguti when we're looking at ama tropical cyclones we're looking at low pressure cells this is a high pressure cell so there is no convergence however there is divergence on the ground and what were the what were the conditions are associated with the high pressure cell automatically mo bonu h okwazi ukuthi they are clear skies because why there is no rising air what causes ama clouds what causes ama skies it is the hot air that is rising in this case you are looking at high pressure cell high pressure cell is cold air that is dense so it will subside and then once it subsides it will diverge on the surface of the earth all right now we are looking at high pressure cells ukuthi affect akanjani in south africa as you can see ngiyenthande ukuthi mina ngi align in south africa because we all living in the southern hemisphere please don't forget one other important characteristic it is that irrotation my bad irrotation is anti clockwise let me just write it anti clockwise rotation hence that is why we we are we are calling this am a anti cyclone all right now let us go to the business of the day sikhulume ngokuthi namhlanje sizobheka ama anti cyclones are affecting south africa how many anti cyclones do we have we have three anti cyclones and they are located in different locations they are on the atlantic ocean we have the south atlantic high pressure cell and then let me start with the oceans then we have a second anti cyclone that is known as the south indian south atlantic south indian high my bad so we know what this is a warm ocean okay We know what this is an extremely cold ocean because we have what you call the Atlantic Ocean and the warm Indian Ocean. And then here inside we have what you call the Kalahari high pressure cell. High pressure. These are the three and the only high pressure cells that you will find. Yes now the thing that you need to remember about these high pressure cells is that they are always present but their position will change it will be depending on which season it is right now because they are close to south africa we know ukuthi because there is cold air subsiding air obviously it is winter and the kalahari high pressure cell it will be found closer to the earth's surface because it is cold remember ukuthi once the sun is shining and heating up the earth's surface there will be moist air and warm air rising so that very warm air rising is responsible for pushing this high pressure cell further away but if it is close and these south indian highs and the south atlantic is close to south africa then you know ukuthi it is winter
Now, all of these cells have a role that they play. Remember, Goguti, we looked at a mid-latitude cyclone. A mid-latitude cyclone is a low-pressure cell that forms however it affects us during a winter. That is why I'm going to mid-latitude cyclone, hence I'm going to my anti-cyclones. Now, in South Atlantic High, because the cold air is subsiding, now remember, what this is a cold ocean. This is winter, remember? The sun, now the earth is heated up for maybe, it is not heated up as long as how it is heated up during a summer. Remember, what during winter we have shorter days, and during summer we have longer days. Therefore, if we have shorter days, it simply means Uguti Umhlaba or the whole southern hemisphere Uzoshe Shuk Pola because the sun is not shining for a long duration. Therefore, the cold subsiding air, as it subsides, it is reaching the surface of the ocean. Remember, Uguti, the ocean is very cold. Now, this air, as it's subsiding, it is supposed to be warming. It is expected to warm adiabatically. However, because the surface of the ocean is cold itself, it does not warm up. Therefore, we know, Uguti, during a winter, the western part of East South Africa is going to experience extreme cold weather conditions because the ocean is cold. There is going to be uh, less cloud cover. Remember, what causes ama clouds? In moisture found in the water. In this case, the water is cold, there is no moisture. So it is going to be extremely cold. Now, the negative impact of this anticyclone is that people living on the western side are going to experience extensive cold weather conditions. It can also lead to frost, it can also lead to uh, cold weather conditions such as hail and snow. Remember, Aguguti, this will affect the economy and the social life and the environment in the negative, in the negative uh, manner. Now, we now know Uguti South Atlantic is responsible for making the western parts of South Africa extremely cold. Let us go and look at the South Indian High. Now, this is the tricky part because here the ocean is warm, all right? Then, obviously, we are going to expect some moisture. All right. Now, when the cold air is subsiding, because the cold air is dense, so whenever you, you, cold air is subsiding, it will subside at a faster level. However, because the air, I mean, because the ocean is warm, as it subsides, this air is going to be dry. Because now all the moist, I guess it's all the moss is being evaporated. It is going up. And then we are going to receive the only thing, the only type of clouds we get, we're gonna get on the ocean, not inland. Why is that? It is because the ocean has its own moisture. Therefore, we are most likely to experience a rain on the eastern side. On the ocean, not inland. Now here's the role of the South Indian High. If it is summer, it moves away. Should if it was summer, Gabe Ila. But in this case, it is winter. Now, if it was summer, it would allow the warm air to come into contact with the land or inland. Now, because we have a South Indian high, which is also known as a blocking cell, it blocks the warm moist from actually coming into inland. And therefore, that is why in winter you find Uguti, we have no or little rain inland. However, we do get um, our coastal rains. So the South Indian High is a blocking cell. Now, remember, Uguti, I introduced a mid-latitude cyclone. A mid-latitude cyclone is a low-pressure cell. Now, we are South Africa. You know, guys, Uguti, this is a cold front. A cold front only affects East South Africa during a winter. Therefore, because a cold front, yes, we know, Uguti, it has cold air, it dense. So it moves faster. So as the air is blowing it over South Africa, what will happen? This South Atlantic high, Jengoba Inga Pambi, Kwayo, a mid latitude cyclone, it is spinning in an anti clockwise rotation. So what does it do? It ridges and redirects this mid latitude cyclone. So one can say, 
The best part of having a South Atlantic high is that it prevents South Africa from being affected by the cold front. And we all know Uguti cold front is associated with heavy rainfall in ahead of it. But behind, we have cold sector. But ahead of it, ahead of the cold front, we have the warm sector. So this South Atlantic high, as it is, because air moves from a high pressure to a low pressure, it will redirect it and therefore South Africa won't be affected by the mid latitude cyclone or specifically it won't be affected by the cold front. And therefore, what will happen? What will that mean? It will simply mean, Uguti, all areas, uh, all farming uh, activities can be, uh, can be executed because now uh, there will not be heavy rainfall. And obviously, this will also allow Uguti people can ensure Uguti they won't have cold weather conditions because once the cold front is over South Africa, it simply means Uguti will be also going to suffer from cold weather conditions. The Kalahari high pressure cell uh, is, I think that we shall leave for another day. Uh, but thank you very much for your time. And please remember this cell is responsible for raging this cell is responsible for blocking that is why we, 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 we. that is why they are important let me not uh, go any longer thank you very much